everything from your senses. I'll, uh, even with an athlete the other day, I had him, he's an NFL player, and I pulled a little um, uh, a metronome and uh, just with my phone, and I had him uh, listen to a sound. It was just a very, um, you know, banal uh, metronome sound, like a tick. And I had it on the left side of his um, ear as he was walking, just like that, and then the right side. And what was really interesting is as I walked away, his his ability to hear it on that side was a lot better than the ability here on the right side. He said, that's really weird. I always catch better from this side. I said, well, while you're here, he was there for his foot. While you're here, how about we retrain your central nervous system and practice it? I said, how do you get something? I said, your eye's still working, isn't it? He said, yeah. I said, how do we get it better? We practice it. Now, he didn't come in for me to treat his eye. I've known this player for a couple of years now. So we, we have a good rapport. But he put together, oh, yeah, I catch better from that side. I notice when I'm seeing it from there. So I'm like, well, how about we practice? I said, we're not going to change what you're best at, but we're going to augment the other side. So when you get back, you know, your version 2.0 or 3.0. So those are those are little tricks. Again, it's not being negative. It's saying, well, you know, you're great. You can be even greater. You, you've learned really well how to work in patterns. You've got a hell of a lot more in the bank that you don't even know about yet.